All right, now that you've set up A2X, the Amazon integration, the Zero integration, you're good to go and ready to start focusing on getting your settings together. So you'll see here from the dashboard, we have a few cool graphs. You can check those out. Those are pretty neat. But you'll see these settlement files start to come in, and there's about five to 10 settlement files that are immediately grabbed when you set up the Amazon connection. But like this account is actually a year or two old, so it should have gone and grabbed a bunch. There's actually a lot more in Seller Central waiting to be grabbed. But the reason why it doesn't grab is first of all, we need to subscribe. So you can go ahead and click subscribe. From the subscribe screen, you'll be able to choose four different levels. So generally, uh, for most of the folks that are taking this course, the $19 a month is going to work, 200 orders. One interesting thing is uh, it's five cents a piece. So if you're somewhere in between, you know, the $19 a month and $39 a month, it may make sense to stay on the 19th and just pay for extra orders. But ultimately, you decide what's the, the most appropriate level for you. I'm not going to actually subscribe right now, but you can use PayPal or you can use your own credit card, whatever you want to choose. Once you get that subscribe, what I'll have you do is you'll come over to the top to settings. I'm going to walk you through some of the different settings and what to do, what not to do. So first of all, account settings. This is where you put your account name. Definitely recommend you put in a name, account address, not so important. Auto invoicing. By default, ATEX doesn't post settlement, the biweekly settlements to zero automatically. That's something you have to enable and you have to pay, obviously you have to pay the subscription before you can enable it. I generally don't turn this on until you complete the next video, which is getting all the mapping done with the accounts and the taxes. Um, so auto invoicing, super powerful. Once you figure out the accounts and taxes, that mapping, definitely turn on auto invoicing. Product types, don't recommend you set up product types. There's, and the one reason why you would do it is if you wanted to group sales by product type, I highly, highly, highly recommend you just keep group all sales together and don't group sales by SKU or product type. Part of my philosophy is Zero is really good at handling big picture data and when you start to try to get really granular with your sales data, I think analytic tools are a lot better used and not so much Zero in other accounting systems. So my strong recommendation, keep this to group all sales and then go to history. So once you subscribe, you'll need to request more history and I actually have a video on what, what you need to do if, if, if history is not important and settlements are missing. I have a video on what you need to do to go request that history. Under connections is basically you can reset or refresh the zero and Amazon connection. Under users is where you can invite other people into the account. Billing is where you can subscribe or change your subscription settings. And finally, in notifications, you can turn notifications off, which I generally like to turn the notifications off. Every time a new settlement's imported, it'll send you an email. It's kind of annoying to me. But um, this is how I set up the settings for right now. Meat of setting up A2X is going to be in the next video where we map the accounts and taxes.